I don't think that this wind farm could ever be a relatively safe place for birds. It was built in the wrong location. That area happens to be the densest known population of golden eaglets in the world. If you build windmills in an area where there's raptors, there's going to be collisions. We've got to accept some impacts um, that are going to come from renewable energy. This is a, a hunting ground for raptors. There's a lot of prey in here. There are also ridge lines where the wind concentrates and you just can't put uh, slicing blades in the flight paths of raptors that, that are uh, designed by nature to take advantage of lift and of wind in order to move around from place to place. It takes an unnatural situation for a bird to fly into a turbine. Either it has to be distracted, such as by seeing a food item and flying through a blade on the way to a food item, like a rabbit or a ground squirrel, or the raptor could get blown into the turbine by a gust of wind. It is very unique. The Altamont is a very unique resource in terms of that bird concentration it is it is it, it, it should not be used as uh, to you know as the you know, typical wind project sites developers now go out of their way to find uh, sites that that don't have a large presence of birds now that said you're never going to have a wind project that doesn't kill a bird um, or some birds and the, the issue is you know finding sites that have a tolerable level of bird kills and that don't have a particularly sensitive uh, species. When I first got involved <clears throat> with the research team that was doing the Golden Eagle trapping in the Altamont Pass, <clears throat> I had heard about the project and I was attracted to that because I love Golden Eagles. One of the things we did that really showed me how significant the impact was was they took me to a building and I don't remember now who operated the facility. I, it could have been the Fish and Wildlife Service. It could have also been a facility owned by Kinetech, which is the wind power company at the time. But I do know that they, they had more than one freezer chest full of dead raptors, especially golden eagles. And I remember them opening up the chest and I looked in there and I just saw a freezer full of dead eagles. And uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I had no idea there were that many eagles even present locally. There are a lot of dead bodies. The wind farm is like a wildlife refuge and it happens to be the kind of terrain that is inhabited by ground squirrels. There's an enormous number of ground squirrels out there and in response there's also an enormous number of red-tailed hawks and uh, golden eagles that eat ground squirrels. Bird groups roll with uh, wind energy uh, was to lead studies out there at the wind farm. What we find are dead bodies out there, piles of feathers. And our job was to um, record, document the locations of these kills, uh, try and make some determination about how they died. Wind turbines appear to kill between 75 and 125 uh, golden eagles per year. Uh, three to four hundred red-tailed hawks, a lot of burrowing owls, um, quite a few kestrels. I think it's pretty clear the bird kills dropped off during the period when the turbines were stopped. There were periods when, for months when the turbines were shut down. The, the irony is, is that, that we can't avoid conflict. Um, wherever we go, somebody's going to object. 
somebody's going to file a lawsuit. So society as a whole has to recognize that we've got to have renewable energy if we're going to get out of our the current mess we're in with global warming. Uh, so wind energy doesn't need to be in your backyard to, to contribute to the greenness of the electrons that you use in your home. I'm sure we can integrate a large quantity of wind into the system if we want energy, if we want the conveniences of energy. It, it can't be done without some environmental impact. Wind energy feels so good that it's got to be good, that there can't be anything wrong with it. The people drive by the freeway and they see the windmills turning and they say, look what we're doing for the environment. But they really know what they're doing for the environment? I don't think so. I built some, had some uh, construction experience with windmills back in the early part of 1980. We did some foundation for some windmills. I didn't know the damage they were doing until later on when it became apparent that uh, the numbers of eagles were just dropping off and dropping off to the fact that the ones that we were seeing flying around were just, the you know, like instead of seeing them on a weekly basis, now we see them on a, a yearly or a couple times a year you see them. The reason I started this website is because the message was not getting out about what was going on here at Altamont. There's a golden eagle, it's a female golden eagle that we, we were able to find over here. It was related to the windmills. It's been decapitated and its wing cut off. That was handed in to the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 93. Hey, do you mind if I bring in a couple of red-tailed hawks I just caught and banned sure. them in here? Sure. You might enjoy seeing them. So this is the male. This is I got a mated pair. These are the birds that live down by the big trestle. Oh, really? by the by the. Uh, and I thought I I only saw one at first, and the uh, that these the mate was looking, and I put a trap with a couple of mice in it. And first one came, and then the other came. I, I like the idea of having electricity generated by the wind, but the cost to the environment, the cost of these birds uh, is so high. If, if they want to do it here, let the companies pay the fines. You know, to kill one eagle should cost $20,000. Amen. Let them pay that, and if they want to factor that into the cost of electricity and bear that, at least, at least it's not putting the cost of energy on the back of eagles. The falcons and eagles are iconic species that focus the public's attention on a problem. That's what they can do. I feel like a falconer here. There you go. <laughs> Except you could get it to, st to stand. Hey, good looking. And as, as wild as these raptors are and the damage that they can do to a to one of their predators, look, look at look at how Stan handles that bird. You're such a good looking bird. All of these uh, mortalities, these fatalities are illegal and they really should, should if they would just uh, enforce the existing laws, then, uh, you know, they could put a stop to this. Like you tell